Hey there! So, Dying Light 1 was recently free on the Epic Game Store, and today I'm going to be testing it on the fastest laptop I have, the Evolve 3 Master Ebook. This laptop has a Intel Celeron N3450 CPU, as well as Intel UHD 500 graphics, which is an absolute potato. To add to that, it also has 4GB of DDR3 RAM running at 1600MHz, it's also soldered RAM, not upgradable, and also it has 64GB of eMMC storage, which is as well not upgradable, as well as the CPU pinned at 100%. That's going to be a common theme today, but without further ado, <laughs> let's get into the game. I normally do not include opening the game, but opening the game was actually really interesting. When I say really interesting, I mean it was a slideshow. So at the default resolution and default settings, the game was getting roughly 5 frames per second in the menu with 100% CPU and GPU usage. Yeah, it's not liking it so far. I think it's time to lower the resolution and settings. At 1024 by 768 resolution, on the lowest settings, the game was running at roughly 8 frames per second on average. And this is by far the worst 8 frames per second experience in any game I've ever experienced. The reason why is the input lag was roughly 2 seconds, and the FOV for some reason is incredibly zoomed in. I can't work out how to get it to zoom out. So, all in all, this is just a terrible experience, like, utterly terrible. You press the space bar, to, for example, to jump, and it takes two seconds for your character to even begin start jumping. Or you turn your head, and it takes another two seconds for that to start happening too. Oh yeah, and also navigating the menu, yeah, also going over and navigating the menu as well comes with a two second delay with the mouse pointer and also any button presses you do. The lowest resolution the game supports is 1024 by 768 though I did actually go into the game's text document settings, which is basically the internal settings of the game, and tweaked them a little bit. I set it to 800 by 600 and that actually made the game run a little bit better. It was getting roughly 15 frames per second, though the problem was even full screen mode didn't support that resolution. What I mean by that is I could have it set to full screen, and the game won't even be full screen. It will be about one third of the screen. And to add to that, yeah, it was still a bad experience, and the input lag was still horrendous. Then I decided to lower the resolution even more, so I set the resolution to 360p, and the game was running a little bit better, it was getting roughly 20 frames per second, so a 100% increase compared to 1024 by 768 though the downside is full screen mode was still broken, and it was taking up now roughly one quarter of the screen, so the window was very tiny, and all in all, it was a still unplayable experience. Oh, and to add to that, yes, there was still input lag. Now, I could go over and use Rivia Statistics Server to go over and limit the frame rate to, let's say, 15, and that did help a little bit with the input lag, but still, it was a very bad experience. Then I also tried playing the game at 144p, and this time I was actually CPU bound. Not by much, though, and the game was still getting roughly 15 to 20. 20 frames per second, and to add to that, full screen mode did not work at all. When I turned full screen mode on, it turned the game's resolution back up to 1024 by 768, which is far more intensive. So the only way to play it is in windowed mode, and even with the desktop size set to 800 by 600, this is how big 144p is. It is tiny, like. Yeah, there's just no way is this game playable on any resolution on this hardware, because yes, this frame rate is at least a little bit decent, but the thing is, you still can't see what you're doing, so does that make it playable? No, not really, because you can't see what you're doing. Either way, I don't think it's going to be playable no matter what, so I'm just going to say, I hope you enjoyed today's video, sorry if your eyes are now sore, and have a great day.